What's good, y'all? Happy Monday. Hope everyone had a blessed, medicated day. What's going on, you guys? Taylor Prentice, back with another video. And this video is gonna be about three designers that I think are gonna pop off within the next year. They've been making really dope stuff, and I just don't think they've gotten the recognition that they deserve yet, but they're definitely on their way. I think it'll be really dope to see what they come up with in the next year moving forward. And I probably sound like a broken record, but we're gonna start this list off with Ev Bravado. No shocker there. I obviously admire his work a lot. I definitely don't think he's gotten the recognition he deserves for all the crazy ass pieces he's made and all the man hours that he's put into it. You can definitely tell he's worked on his craft for a very long time and this isn't something he like just got into. I really think Ed Bravado is gonna pop off. He keeps getting bigger and bigger, keeps growing his fan base through working with other people. That goes for Cody Phillips as well, who's the next person on this list. But still speaking on Ed Bravado, just through collaborations, he's been able to grow a lot. Working with people or companies like Neiman Marcus and people like Aaron Preston, he's definitely been able to get his name out to other followings and out to other groups of people who will admire his work and can respect him as a designer. And I think collaborations will continue to further his career, especially because of him doing stuff with Off-White for the spring and summer, because that Virgil cosign, even though he already has it, a lot of people still don't know about it. So once he gets that like super official Virgil cosign, I think he'll really take off and people will finally start to appreciate him for what he's done and for the work that he will continue to do. Moving on to the next designer, as I mentioned earlier, it's Cody Phillips. Cody Phillips is kind of known in like the underground fashion scene. He has a decent following. Yeah, so Cody Phillips, a lot of people have been skeptical to buy from him in the past, I think, because there has been news of him like taking a while to get orders shipped out and having difficulty like responding to customers. But that is because he pretty much runs the show himself. He has some help from his buddies is what it seems like. But for the most part, he seems to be doing Doing, like all of the work all the stuff he does looks like it's really time-consuming and the price point he's offering it at is fairly reasonable in my opinion for the quality of work it's similar to Ed Bravado. it's a lot of DIY and reconstruction of especially like pants and then some denim jackets and stuff like that but Cody Phillips definitely has his own take Cody Phillips, even though I just compared him to Ed Bravado, is definitely in his own lane. And that's part of why I think he'll be so successful is because he's just doing stuff that no one else is really doing. People, uh, they can't really replicate it. And if they did, it just wouldn't work. There's a dude named like Val Christopher and he rips off of both of them. And you can tell for the most part when he does it. So I actually talked to Cody Phillips one day via Instagram. He was posting about like just how to start a brand and tips on how to start a brand or like how to learn sewing and stuff like that. So I just like shot him a message and he seemed really kind hearted, seemed like a really nice dude. He gave me a lot of tips. He also told me to reach out anytime I had a question. So it's very nice for someone who lives in Indiana to have like somewhat of a connection in clothing or just like someone to give me tips because there's no one around here that I can really go and like ask those things because no one's experienced it. Hi, I'm Jeremiah. I'm going to tell you guys something. I'm going to tell you why Indiana sucks and also why you should not move here. Being able to have a conversation with someone I look up to is huge to me. I hope to do that someday when I'm in the position to help people. A lot of guys in his position wouldn't do anything like that. And for that reason, I am a big Cody Phillips fan. And also for all the shipping struggles and all that, I do really think he's a good guy and has like a genuine business. It's just hard for him to get all of his work completed. And that's why he does run behind. The next person on this list is mainly a jeweler. His name is Luke Vicious. He also does a lot of cool vintage looking tees with really cool washes and pretty cool designs printed on them. Luke Vicious, I'm actually not sure where he's out of, but I first learned about him through the Macus online store. So shout out to them. Shout out to Bare Knuckles. Definitely go fuck with Jacob Keller if you don't know who he is. And Macus Online is one of my favorite online stores. Luke Vicious offers a lot of cool silver accessories, a lot of really cool necklaces and chokers. And then he also has like belt chains and all kinds of other metal accessories. And they're fairly reasonably priced because he does tend to stick to like stainless steel or coating brass items with stainless steel. From Luke Vicious, there's a couple pieces that I've contemplated getting, I just haven't gone through with yet 
the main two items I've looked at was the bullet chain, and then there's one with a padlock on it. The padlock is definitely inspired by like the LV padlocks. I really like that look. I feel like I could find one for a little bit cheaper than Luke Vicious is offering, but the way Luke Vicious's chain looks is just completely different than what you're gonna be able to find on like a place like Etsy or anything like that. His chains are really cool. The clasps he uses are really dope. I believe he does it all by hand, so that's like insane. I don't know how he comes up with the time to do that. And it seems like the shirts he makes also take a long time. They're usually like 100, 150 bucks. For what you're getting, it does seem like the price is justified with the amount of work that he's putting into each piece. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to go check out our last video. We saw our friend who's not that into fashion. Definitely go check out Luke Vicious. Definitely go check out Macus Online. Definitely go check out Ebravado. And definitely go check out Cody Phillips. Watch out for another video coming Thursday. Stay tuned for that. Hit the like button notification bell please subscribe catch you later i don't know why i'm pointing so much thanks for watching deuces